Regent Street, wherever you are, is full of design, is full of systems that make it work. Every street um, is full of people with diverse interests and diverse strengths and diverse contributions to the society. You know, why don't we use that more? So it's making that link between the, the very, very local and, and the global, and making the link between the very, very individual and the community. It's, it's always the, the micro and the, and the macro as it were coming together. Everything I saw in the, in the project just it just affirmed all the things that I think are important in education, sort of community building, recognizing your own creativity, being an individual but within a within a collective, and and, and the whole thing of listening to children's voices and giving them an equal status with with, with adults' voices. All of those things, and, and I, I I feel are such important facets of, of education, which. You know, which have been in danger, which have been in danger of being, being lost in the in the kind of uniform. Let's catch up. Mm. You know, let's uh, let's uh, let's uh, let's get go back to what we were before. Those those things seem to me to be very challengeable, and you know, very much challenged by the the real experience of kids in lockdown. offering people the opportunity to make contact with each other through a creative activity music making or, or using those postcards or, or ju just walking around or that, that lovely description you had of, of, of the children walking to and from their their um, school on the on the little distanced um, march that they did with their music all of that seemed to me to be not just expressing community, but but actually almost almost forming and and solidifying, firming up on community through the arts. Mm. So that that really struck me strongly, and I you know I was interested to see if you'd got any evidence that my impression was was you know was accurate.
photos you you showed mm. you, you showed me was the the fact that the child's voice seemed to be very kind of on an equal level with the adult's voice that mm. there was a sense for example with the, with the chalk with the chalk drawings mm. this is a child's world it's a child's decision it's a child's toy mm. if you like to make those 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 chalk images mm. and they were given permission in the wide world to express their voice and mm. to be themselves and you know, my consciousness as a teacher has been really right the way through my teaching life the child's voice has often been pushed down and 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 and, and restrained you know mm. by the dominant teacher's voice or the mm. dominant voice of what was needed in the curriculum or mm. that or that kind of stuff I think for, for, for me, you know, in, in both lockdowns, the, pro the projects you were doing mm. seemed to me to be pointing towards some actions that schools and, and nurseries could be taking in the community to, 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 to build those bridges between themselves and communities more. Mm. Time be still Who takes all things Face, feature, memory Under his blinding wings Let time be still Who takes all things Face, feature, memory Under his blinding I think in, in in a lot of senses, what what you were doing is 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 actually giving a, a degree of certainty in a hugely uncertain period. I mean, it, it, it's slightly easing now, but there's this hugely dominating feeling of you know I don't know how far I can go. I don't know whether I should leave home. Mm. I don't know if I'm ever going to go on holiday. If I'm ever going to fly anywhere again, or or whatever the uncertainties are. Mm. And yet that certainty that I can do a picture or write a joke on a postcard, I can, I, I can be involved in a little bit of simple drumming or, or strumming the two chords that I know on the guitar, I can do that and we can do it together. It's a, a precious bit of certainty. Sure, it seemed that hidden away from the sorrowful wind, then deep breath in our That's such a big question, it but, I, but it, it it would be it would be a curriculum. I, su I suppose that 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 focused on what makes humans different from machines, and what makes humans different from each other. The the diversity between every single one of us, not between different races and different cultures, but between each of us. That each of us has different stories, different parts of life that are important to us, and different skills. And that for a curriculum to be a, to sort of offer to children a, a, a palette of different experiences, 
in the sure knowledge that some children would reject those experiences and some children would embrace those experiences. But to have, have those experiences ready and, 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 and waiting for, for kids, and a lot of it to do with, with, with seeing the world beyond the classroom as the real world in which children live, and to using that world beyond the classroom as the focus of their maths learning and their science learning and their history and their geography learning and their RE learning, that, that what's around the school as a resource is a rich and human resource which many schools are, are not really using because they're, they're using either a, a kind of already packaged curriculum or a curriculum that is ticking the boxes of the things we ought to cover but not actually relating them to the real world of children and the and the real world of our of our diverse humanity so it's a very big general ar mm. argument but but you know in in terms of the of the specifics of it in in, in london i you know I'd, I'd say you absolutely using the streets around us as as the major set of resources. Every street, wherever you are, is full of design, is full of systems that make it work. Every street um, is full of people with diverse interests and diverse strengths and diverse contributions to society. You know, why don't we use that more? It's not just about using a, a beautiful bit of parkland it, it could be just one suburban street or one mm. in, in a London street full of, mm. of, of interest and of course by doing that it elevates the world in which children live it, mm. it, it makes that honoured it honours it and and starting there then of course build, building out to the, the massive interrelationships we have all over the world that mm. every bit of clothing where wearing a class actually comes from somewhere mostly outside of this country so seeing even what's around us as, as linked with with the rest of the world in that global way that you know mm. we're aware of very painfully with the with the pandemic but actually it's a it's a globalization that happens in everything we eat and wear and and, and play with and watch on our screens and so on mm. So it's making that link between the, the very, very local and, and the global. And making the link between the very, very individual and the community. It's, it's always the, the micro and the, and the macro as it were coming together.